Hey guys, Jen Carlos here back at it again. And today's video, we're gonna do a transmission fluid in this 2016 Honda Civic. Uh, in this engine, I have the 1.5 liter turbo. It has the CVT transmission. So we're gonna change the fluid today. So in this job, here's the tools you're gonna need. You just need a regular V8 socket wrench for the transmission uh, drain bolt under the car. And uh, of course the transmission fluid. So here's the transmission fluid I'm gonna use. Uh, this is, uh, HCF2 transmission fluid. It's for uh, the CVT transmission only. So you guys don't wanna use any transmission fluid for this car because this is very, um, I don't know, fragile or something. So I bought this one in uh, Amazon. So. Here's the company I bought it for. It's Metro 24 Wholesale Inc. If you guys wanna get your transmission fluid. And uh, drain, long uh, drain funnel. Cause this, I don't have the aftermarket um, air filter. So I'm gonna need the long uh, funnel to get access to my uh, drain hole. And then I'm gonna use this um, What's this like a pan? So I so I'm just gonna measure how much I take out from the car and I'm just gonna put it back how much I take out from the car and then uh, I fill it up depends how much I take out and I'm just gonna put it under here in case I got too much oil on the car and then that's it. So by the way guys, here's your uh, drain hole access. Right here, it's, it says there too, the HCF2. So you know what's transmission fluid you're gonna use in your car. Like I said, I got the 1.5 liter CVT trans. And I don't have the aftermarket intake, so I'm gonna need a long funnel to uh, shoot my funnel on the hole right there. The setup I did. I know it's the car is no lever right now because I put the Rhino ramp, but um, I'm gonna try to in case I need to level up the car later. I'm just gonna jack it up in the back to, to make it level, you know, so I know I have the right fluid in the car. So here's your drain uh, uh, bolt right here, drain uh, access. To the transmission fluid so we're gonna 3 8 on this and then here's your transmission pan right here and then above your drain transmission bolt right here the drain bolt above right here if you guys see there's like a 12 millimeter that's your drain check right here so after you guys uh, drain the fluid uh, you, need, you need to uh, remove this uh, drain check so once we put the new transmission oil now we're gonna check if it's that's how we know if the transmission is full already so that's a good thing about this car we have that one because some of the car they don't so we need to measure or you know but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes it's my first time doing this to uh, the CVT I already did one on the Tacoma so. Let's see. So I'm just gonna set it up like that. Get the uh, create second wrench. Let's see if it I get out with the regular rack socket wrench, so I, I grab a just extension so I don't have a breaker bar. I'll try to break this. 
Söyleme ta. I can remove. So we already cracked the bolt. See, already unplugged to the drain. Uh, what's it called? The one on top. So, gonna make it so easy to drain this oil. Oh shit! So here's the oil. Actually, not that bad yet. But my car has. 93,000 miles already I'm not sure if I need to change the the what's it called um, the filter on this transmission so I'm just gonna do the oil for now so you can see there's the uh, metal shaving this is normal because this has a magnetic so, it's right about four but I didn't check if the car is level by the way oh. we already uh, wiped down the metal shaving so here's the drain bolt so this is the magnetic one. So here's the washer. We're gonna replace this one with the one. So as you guys see, already jack up the car in your rear. There's um, like a jack point right here. So let me see if you guys can see it. Right there, right here. So this is your jacking point under rear then let's see if it's uh, level now you guys see it's still draining because we jack up the car so I bring a level like this and then just make sure like this thing on the middle so, I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's on level now right there so it's this right here if you guys see my finger level so we're good so let's just wait until this uh, fluid drain everything then we're gonna fill it up I think we're gonna need like about four quart because this uh, pan is four quart that's what I bring so I put it here first so I know how much oil we drain but it looks like about four quarts Good thing guys, we bought a 5 quart of this uh, HCF2 transmission fluid because I think we're gonna need a 4 quart. So if you guys are needing to change yours, just buy, ex just buy extra in case. Because I thought mine is 4, but good thing I bought a 5, five um, quart. So yeah, let's just wait training this and then we're gonna fill it up. Hey guys, before you guys training your uh, fluid there, Make sure this uh, drain, this uh, filling hole, fill hole is open. We just unplug this, so it's more easy to drain the fluid. My engine's so dirty right now, as you can see. That's okay. I'll leave it like that. Right now we drain all the oil already, so I just need to torque it down the drain bolt and we're gonna truck it down to 38 foot pounds so just need to it. Ah. 
You guys see if you have long fan like this, it's more easy to get access with your uh, drain hole over there. So first, I'm just gonna shake this fluid because it's been sitting on the on the shelf for a few months. So we're just gonna put four. I would say four for now. about half of this so this is the fifth bottle so yes it looks like see i got like so this is the four quart exactly on top and then i spill it up about i don't know if that's about half or one quart so i'm just gonna put a little bit more for the fifth bottle so i got the right um fluid amount so this is the fifth bottle, a tiny bit, but there, it's tiny, a little bit more, oops, there we go. So we're inside the car now, so let's start the car and then we'll do the um, things on the shifter. So we're gonna shift all the shifters, so all the new fluid gonna go inside those transmission thing inside the transmission so I'm gonna start now the car and after this uh, we're gonna check if there's any leaks on the drain bolt uh, on the bottom uh, let's wait for a little bit So we're gonna change all the gear, maybe at, uh, at least five seconds on each gear. Oh, good. <laughs> 